Hey guys, welcome back to another iPhone tutorial. Well, that's actually a lie. This is going to be an iPad tutorial. Now, I know I haven't made a lot of tutorials recently, um, especially because a few reasons. One, I, I want to do tutorials on iPad, I want to do tutorials in games, I want to do HTML5, I want to do Android. I just don't have enough time to make them all into videos. Learning them takes long enough to make the videos takes even longer. And also, stuff in the real world has taken a lot of my free time recently. But I went back, I started using the um, iPad setups now for Xco 4.0. And I used a split, a split view control before. If you ever used um, an iPad and used iTunes or Twitter, they all have the split view as one of the main screens. Even the application settings in the iPad use split view. The problem though with 4.2 is the new template, the mass detail, is a bit different. It's simpler in some ways and it's a bit more of a pain in the ass than other. It's, it's taken away some stuff that makes it easier and then it's just the way that the default setup is, it's kind of weird. So I'm just going to do it now and show you how weird it is. Sorry, someone ring, why is someone always ringing making a bloody video? Back in one second. Sorry about that, someone was rang me there of course, as I'm making a video. Okay, so I'm just going to make a mass detail and show you what it does at the moment. It's called um, Master Detail. Just the way this is constructed, the, the template, it's very, very weird. It's just it does nothing to help you or indicate what's going on. So if you build and run, split view in the old Xcode version is very handy to do, very handy setup. It's all done in the app delicate, um, so you can see where all the navigation controls are made and embedded with the review controller, and it's very handy. So you want to just do do do, turn this sideways left okay and to click on detail it pushes its own master into the detail in that window so it doesn't affect the main detail of you all this does is push it itself into this view so it's it's a very weird thing to, to set up a template with so the master gives you no default access to the detail view which is extremely weird for a template this should give you a few options to show you how to edit this, but it doesn't. So very quickly, I'm going to go through this and show you how to use a template and alter it to your own needs. Later on, I'll do a tutorial which builds it from the ground up from the absolute basic, just the AppDelica files, and to hand build it yourself, just to show you all the nuts and bolts. But for now, we're just going to fly through this and do some stuff. So into your Mass Detail View Controller header file, copy and paste the property and then you want to change this to new view uh, new detail view controller okay so this is going to give us a new access uh, category a category new access parameter to new detail okay uh, okay that's synthesized now into your why is that giving me a problem I was wondering if a new detail view controller is a naming problem. Let's just quickly change a new DVC. New DV. I think new is a problem altogether. Uh, another detail view controller. I'm just guessing that calling anything new is a problem. Yeah. So the new prefix is a problem for some reason. Okay, now as a property of master we can uh, edit, if, as I said here, you can see in the D app delegate it's basically constructing the split view controller the same way you or as you do a, um, a tab bar controller. You de declare the, the two uh, classes, you put them to the array, and you make the array equal to the root view controllers. Okay, so we want to make a new entry here. We want to uh, give us access later on in different classes to these files through Delic because this is where it's constructed so this is where our base level access kind of comes in so master view controller dot another yep after equals detail view controller so now through this variable we'll have access to our detail view controller and just to prove we now have access we're going to go into our into here and we're going to make um, a quick header and this array it's called r for naming sake and we're going to go into our init file and r equals ns array a lock uh, array with nope 
in it with objects. So I'll just quickly just give you numbers, doesn't really matter what you put in here, it's just some data to utilize, comma and end and bracket. No problems. Down to your boo boo boo, your numbers of sections, numbers of rows and sections, return R count awesome delete delete that uses line uh, cell dot text label dot text equals r object at index path index path dot row I know I said that wrong but I always say that wrong okay uh one or two other things we have to do to quick clean up we want to delete this line in the view to load, don't worry about it, it's not going to do anything for you or against you. And this line, this setup here is absolutely useless. Well, okay, it's handy if you want to push into another table, save that your initial roof view controller, sorry, initial master view controller you load has an array of view controllers and views. In that case, it's very handy, say, if you have a number of um, ta uh, number of tail views that have say make a catalogue app and one part of the catalogue is for, for furniture, one's for cars, one's for boats. You could then push into a subsection of each table view, which is handy, but for now we're not doing anything like that, so erase that all together because that line is useless. So now we want to access our new our new um variable to alter the next page. So now if we look back at our simulator you'll see this is where the description goes. We want to do something different. Okay, so uh, another dot detail description label, that's a property of the detail view controller. It's just a label in the middle of the page equals our object at object index index path dot row. We can also do cell for our index just to get the value of the text there. It doesn't really matter. It's the exact same just before I built, I've noticed one little problem. Stupid, stupid mistake on my part. We are accessing a text label. Yes, we haven't told it it's going to be a string. So nothing would happen there, and I've been very embarrassed. So now we build and give it a run ski. Okay, let's turn it sideways so you can see a bit better. And we are now accessing our detail view controller. So uh, I'm gonna make a few other examples later on. I'm gonna make it maybe an MV proper MVC. You don't have to make it MVC in this. It's okay. It's bad kind of protocol to pass from view controller to view controller. It's just a nice example here. But the best way still to make a data model. Um, then probably the way I would do it is make an object like a sorry a class like I did in my MVC example, and in the delegate, so when the view first loads before the view controls are even assigned, you want to make your array here have a, a little class you're called make data, self make data, and that'll go off and add all your data, JSON or even handwritten uh, parameters into uh, an array or a dictionary. So it resides here in the actual delegate. All you have to do is make a singleton to access all the data from here and use it anywhere in your app. It's very simple and that's actually something I should make a tutorial on how to do because it's the best way to do it I find. Have all data set from the very start and be able to access it and alter it from anywhere in the app with one simple line of code. Okay, but I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to make a tutorial now to build this from the ground up so you can see all the nuts and bolts of what it actually does. But now you can see there's, there's a few small edits to the template and you have complete access to the um, to the classes. So I hope this helped. Um, you know, if you like the video, tell your friends about it, subscribe, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. Alright folks, take it easy, bye now.